America's antiquated air traffic control system is getting an upgrade. The overhaul is designed to keep up with increasing air travel and the push for on-time flights. But Ben Tracy shows us how parts of the country, including the area hosting this year's Super Bowl, are paying a steep price for progress. And this is now our sleeping cave. Nicole Marquez just moved her bedroom into the middle of her house and put plexiglass on all of her windows. She lives in Phoenix, so it's not to keep the heat in, but rather to keep the sound out. If you can imagine yourself at an air show, that's what it would sound like. Except you live at the air show. I live at the air show. She says there is now a constant barrage of airplanes flying over her home in this historic neighborhood near downtown Phoenix. Every 30 seconds for hours at a time. You're gonna rip your hair out. Six o'clock in the evening, you're ripping your hair out trying to eat dinner. Am I angry? Absolutely. I'm furious. This is the unintended consequence of the FAA's Next Generation Air Transportation System, known as NextGen. It uses satellites instead of old-fashioned radar to guide airplanes. This allows for more planes in the air, safely spaced closer together, and burning less fuel because their flight paths are more direct. But in Phoenix, that change means planes that used to take off and turn nine miles out now make that turn at two to three miles, flying low over heavily populated neighborhoods. Noise complaints have taken off too, soaring from 221 in all of 2013 to more than 3,300 in just the past four months since the flight paths were changed. So for those neighborhoods, they got hammered by this uh, change. Greg Stanton is the mayor of Phoenix. He says the FAA did not hold a single public hearing notifying neighbors of the change, nor did the agency ever meet with him. The FAA says it did notify the airport as far back as 2012. Do you feel like you were blindsided by the FAA? Yes. I think that the, the choice that was made to have such a disproportionate impact over such a small number of people is really fundamentally unfair and unacceptable. Have you since found out why the FAA did what they did? No, this is still a, a mystery to us. Turns out the FAA can do what it wants because it has a big backer, Congress. A 2012 congressional FAA authorization bill fast-tracked the rollout of NextGen by exempting it from normal environmental impact reviews and public hearings. The FAA declined our request for an interview. It's the Federal Aviation Administration, not the Federal Arrogance Administration. New York Congressman Steve Israel says NextGen is also causing problems for people in the Northeast, as flight paths at JFK and LaGuardia airports are also changing. He wants the FAA to start meeting with homeowners as it rolls out NextGen across the country through 2025. I'm not asking for NextGen to be rolled back. I'm not asking for it to be reduced. I'm asking for the FAA to be sensitive to community concerns and ensure that not one community bears the, the, the noise, uh, but that there's a fair and common sense distribution uh, in the vicinity of airports. Um, Nicole Marquez says NextGen may be good for the country and the airline industry, but the pain should be shared. I don't think that the airlines should be able to bank on other people's misery. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy, Phoenix. Boy, that's okay. tough because you don't love that sound, especially like six o'clock in the morning if your plane taken off above your head. It's interesting. My opinion changed in the middle of the story because I'm thinking, but Nicole, you bought near the airport, but it's different when they change the rules. And they change the flight path. Indeed. Sure, they can work something out.